Yes, it is true. I have retired. And I think the, the main uh, reason that I'm retiring is just because I think that being a competitive player is definitely a lot of work, a lot of effort. And it basically takes over your life in a sense and you you do have to dedicate like everything and put um put all your schedule put like all your hard work effort like physically mentally it can be uh it it definitely it definitely was not an easy choice to make and i mean i'm still pretty young i if i did if i did like keep going esports obviously i like i would have a lot more years to go um but I also still want to do stuff like outside of the game, IRL. There's stuff that I want to, like, there's like certain like ambitions I want to like chase, um, in real life, and um, that's like a part of the reason. Actually, uh, believe it or not, I would have retired last year, uh, if it wasn't for Kaide to tell me to stick it out one more year, like. I, I was basically already in the mindset last year, like at the end of 2023, where I said to myself, like, I, I'm, I'm just going to like retire. And Kaede said, no, like, trust me, like stick it out one year, just like, just for me. And obviously 2023 was such a low point, uh, just for like my Valorant career in particular. And she like told me straight up that there's only up from here and that was the reason that i have played the 2024 season so um if, honestly if it wasn't for kaide convinced me to to do one more year um we would have never i would have never been a part of the, the madrid winning roster i wouldn't have been able to uh, kind of have a redemption within champs and get a top four finish within the team so yeah been, it's been awesome it's been an awesome ride playing's been really fun and overall i think uh i, I wouldn't trade anything that i've experienced in my life so far for anything it, it's it's definitely been it's been awesome um <laughs> but retire after winning traps so um i mean to me winning winning madrid again was enough just winning once again was enough for me and uh, Honestly, like, even if we just didn't do that great this year, I still would have made the decision that I would I made. Um, but I am a lot more glad that I was able to to finish off at more of a high point within my career. And obviously, nothing but love to all the uh, the Sen fans. Appreciate it so much, everyone, for supporting the team and I throughout. All the years i know um i know it's been it's been a ride for sure for sure for sure did the team know beforehand uh yes so um actually before we went to champ soul um we had a meeting and basically it was just like us around the table like um outside at the office and i just kind of told everyone uh what i was doing obviously when you make a decision like this it is a very huge one and one that's really hard to make but i was just like you know what it's my time there there's there's definitely like there's more i want to do in life before i get like too old to do it like there's definitely like i want to there was certain stuff like within content creation that i really wanted to do as well like i wanted to make a lot more exciting content i wanted to also go travel i wanted to like vlog mo a lot more um and it's a lot harder uh, it's very hard to do that as a pro player it's also very hard to like attend certain creator events like i want to start going to a lot of the um like gaming conventions like i'm going to twitchcon coming up uh, very soon so i'll be there and kaide and i actually have a panel that uh <laughs> It's like a, what is it, a Q&A, meet and greet. I'm not sure exactly the uh, specifics of it, but it's, um, I'm doing that at TwitchCon and I'll also be just chilling around there. Uh, we might be doing some IRL live streaming at TwitchCon as well. So, um, yeah. 
I'm just really glad that I feel like at this point in time, I don't have any regrets doing what I'm doing. Um, and that was like a, a big kind of like scare for me personally. Uh, just if, if we didn't have a good year, if we, if we didn't end up like being able to lift a trophy once again, or we didn't have a good showing at champs, I do think there would have been a part of me that, um, that definitely would have regretted, but for right now, I definitely don't have any regrets and I'm actually quite happy with where my life has <laughs> gone through the many years and up until now. Are you still going to play Valorant in the future? Of course. Yes. I'll be, I'll be playing mostly Valorant. Uh, I definitely will do some, some variety days as well, but, um, yeah. But I, I did say I am retired currently, but just let it be known that maybe one day, maybe one day I might come back for a short period of time. I don't think it will be, I don't think it'll be soon, but it might not be as far away as people think. I do, I do want that, like, I want some of that hope out there for people that do like seeing me compete. Um, who knows? You never know what happens in life. Sometimes life just throws fucking insane <laughs> twists and turns at you, but, um, who knows? Bro, we, we literally played, I, I want you to remember, for LCQ, we literally played with Shroud. I said if there was, if Sen ever needed an emergency sub, then... They might know someone. <laughs> da, da, da. Who's gonna replace you? Uh, it's up to the it's up to the rest of the team to figure that out. Uh, at the moment, uh, I haven't really, um, I don't really know what's going on. Um, on like the roster side for current Sen. So, also, if I even if I did know, then I wouldn't da, da, da. leak it. For obvious reasons um but yeah it's been it's been it's been fun yo mike <laughs> uh yeah so right now i i'm still signed to sentinels uh currently so i am a sentinels content creator officially now mm -mm. but yeah i i just say once again i appreciate everyone for just like being there cheering me on through all this time it's it's definitely been a blessing for sure and it's something that i would have never imagined because bro even like <laughs> five years ago i was literally just getting into the valorant scene or like i was getting into the valorant scene i was not really like well known and i kind of put i i took i took a a pretty big gamble i'd say uh just swift switching over to a new game completely fresh before anyone else did and i put all my like time and effort into it and just grinded it from day one but yeah i i definitely i definitely don't regret doing anything like being here today is just awesome and it, it's it's really it's really quite amazing to have such such an <laughs> an awesome fan base in general so i'm gonna like tear up a little bit but thank you everyone da, da, da. we haven't won champions i mean i don't even look at it da, da, da. in a way of uh, like what i've won what i haven't won i just look at it in a way of like if i'm happy or not My and ready. even just being in a spot to win just one tournament da, da, da. nonetheless two i think has been kind of it's kind of been like a dream for me so just being able to accomplish a dream twice um it's it's more than enough for sure are you gonna continue streaming yes i will be streaming basically every day um i think i I'll, I'll, i'm gonna be setting up a schedule coming up the next few days like a actual designated schedule so people know when to catch me and i'll be able to stream for longer periods of time as well and I'll probably designate some days towards uh, certain like variety days for whoever wants to catch me doing that. Um, be a coach for Sen. 
Hey. Bro, imagine. Imagine if I was coaching. Come on, guys. Just peek. Are you going to do watch parties? Yes. I will be doing uh, watch parties for events. So I'll probably... I'll probably head over to uh, whatever events are taking place um, and I'll be able to watch party there. So I'll still get to go to Valorant events. I, I'm sure whatever Valorant fans come out, uh, you might see me uh, around the events as well. I might do some uh, meet and greets here and there. So um, definitely not the end of seeing me for uh, Valorant. I'll definitely be, I'll be lurking about uh, when you Will you play Valorant Mobile when it comes out on stream? Uh, probably. I mean, I played the uh, the console version. I didn't play it for that long, though. And I know they released, like, comp now, but uh, I, I think I was overseas when they released competitive for um, the console Valorant. Yes. Yeah, once again, I'm not off of Sentinels. I'm still on Sentinels right now. Uh, I am just a content creator now. Did you think a lot about this decision? Uh, I definitely did, yes. But, I mean, okay, I'll, I'll say it again for whoever didn't really hear me. But I actually kind of made the decision in 2023 where I told I told myself I'm, like, ready to retire. And I basically was telling Kaede, like, I'm, I'm retiring this year. And then she was able to convince me one more year. And so here we now. Here we... Here we are now, 2024. What we've done this year, it's just been amazing. And uh, yeah, big big thank you uh, to Kaide for letting me end it off on a on a on a high point rather than a low one, which was what I was ready to do. But I definitely think if I did retire um, a year prior, I, I definitely think I would have had a lot of regrets for my competitive season or competitive career. I'll forever heck in love 10. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying right now, I'm still a Sen fan. Come on. I hope everyone still is a Sen fan too. I mean, I'm going to be fucking watch partying all the games and we'll get to see the, that we'll get to see absolute cinema masterclass constantly. So that's, that's what I'm excited to look at. <laughs> 